Yes. What's up? Hey man, I'm gonna get some ramen after school. You wanna come? No reason really. Just don't have anything to do later. Plus, I figured we could finish our chat from this morning. So how about it, man? Let's get some ramen at the mall and talk. Was I right or was I right? Soup here tastes great, doesn't it? We've got to put some special ingredient in it. Something no other ramen shop would ever use. Maybe there's a secret clue in the shop's name. Ah, my bad. I always geek out a little whenever I eat here. You do? Really? You taste the magic too? Man, I wasn't expecting that. I think I'm liking you more by the minute. By the way, I hear you and Takeba-san are pretty close. Damn, you just transferred here too. Well, I can't blame you. Man's gotta be aggressive in this day and age. Hey, let's hang out after school again sometime. Let me know when you're free. I'll tell you all about my secret plan. Dude, you're gonna flip when you hear it. It's already dark? Damn, I missed my favorite show. Man, for real? Oh well. Oh, let's get going. Uh, but first, let's swap numbers. Bust out that cell phone. Take that. Hmm? You finished? Be seeing you.
You know what? Wow. So, starting today, he's an official member of the team. Welcome aboard. I'm Yuko Nishiwaki. She's our team manager. She'll answer any of your questions. You're a second year, right? Since we're in the same grade, you can just call me Yuko. Let's see. Hey, Miyamoto. Yes. This here's our future team captain. Great runner and places well in competitions. You two are in the same class, right? Miyamoto, keep an eye on the new guy here, okay? You got it. You're the guy who went out with Takeba on the first day of school, right? You're practically a celebrity. I'm Kazushi Miyamoto. You've seen me around, right? Then, long story short, from now on, you're mine after school. You better not think you're getting the easy treatment just because you joined mid-season. on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. There's no practice the days before tests, though. I'll make sure your uniform is ready for next time.
You know what? Oh! I know, right? Practice? Alright. <sighs> My side is killing me. I uh, might have overdone it a bit. Easy for you to say. But honestly, you're probably onto something. How about you? You okay? really been pushing it. You don't even look tired. Uh, what kind of training regimen do you have? I figured as much as I wouldn't be dying over here. You're pretty crazy. Uh, kind of sucks. You totally destroyed me. I knew the standards were high around here, but I never thought someone so good would be right in front of me. Okay, I've made up my mind. Listen up. I'm gonna make you eat my dust. Sorry. I didn't mean to get so worked up. Let's get go. Ah! I think I might have twisted my knee. Yeah, forget it. Let's go. Oh, it's you. What's up? Hmm. Okay, sure. Why don't we stop somewhere along the way? It's tough being a team manager. You really don't get any respect. And the guys on the team all act like little kids. Where's my towel? Can you wash this for me? I'm not their mother, you know. At least I don't have to worry about gaining weight since I'm always running around taking care of them. How about you? Are you enjoying track and field? Oh yeah? That's good to hear. Thought it might be boring for you, since you're so much better than everyone else. I can tell just by looking. It's like you've got your own style, and you don't waste much energy. Well, if you have any questions, just ask Kaz. Um, you know, Kazushi. You guys are in the same class, so I'm sure he'd be willing to help you. You can ask me too if you want, since I'm the manager.
cup. What would you like to order? Our special today is a fresh mackerel. As you might suspect, we don't serve sushi here. Oh, you're a student, aren't you? <laughs> then you must be from Gekokan High, right? That means you probably know about the persimmon tree there, don't you? Do you think I'm making this up? <laughs> I assure you, it's real. At Gekokan High, there's an open courtyard area. The tree grows beside a walkway there. Please excuse my husband. Just consider it the ramblings of an old man. Don't you worry your little head, okay? Welcome to Bookworms. How many guests? Smoking or non-smoking? Hmm, that leaf that's in your hand. Oh, do you mean to tell me this is a leaf from that persimmon tree? It must have grown quite a bit to produce such splendid leaves. Oh, wait, uh, so you aren't here to buy books? Did you come visit just to show this to us? I knew right from the start that you were a kind young man. I've been meaning to go see that tree for a while now, but I'm not sure if these stumpy old legs will make it that far. And that wasn't meant to be a pun. You know, stumpy. Uh, tree stump? Get it? <laughs> yes, yes. You're very clever, dear. Let me introduce my wife, Mitsuko. I'm Bunkichi. If you don't mind, would you tell us your name? Hmm, yes, a good name, as good as mine. We're open every day except Monday. Come visit us whenever you're free. I see you're back.
you came back. Welcome. Uh, what was your name again? Oh, no need to tell me. I was just joking. I'm not that senile. My wife and I were just talking about you. Tell me, do you like this kind of treat? Someone gave it to me, but I have more than enough. Go ahead and take it. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. You don't have to thank me for something as small as this. You're so polite, I say. You're like his complete opposite. Uh, would you like another to give to a friend? We have so many. My wife and I would take forever to finish them all. Right then. Here you go. Uh, 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 for real this time. Uh, wh what was your name again? Goodness, dear. It's him. Remember? My apologies. He's been terribly forgetful lately. Here you are. Say, uh, uh, where did that boy run off to, dear? He should be here helping customers. Sorry about that. Our spoiled son. He hasn't been back in a while. Honestly, where in the world did he go? Right, dear? Oh, my dear, he's... Our son left this world before we did. I'm sorry. He came all the way out here, only to see this pitiful sight. Hey now, the two of you look like you just seen a ghost. It's dark outside. We don't need it to be dark in here, too. Come visit us again, will you? We'll be waiting.